Hey, morning guys, the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. So if you're into amateur radio and a little bit of training, uh, a rare opportunity to do some testing presented itself. So this is by no means edited, but I wanna share with you guys a few things. So I'm running JSA call here. It is uh, 5.37 local time, 12.37 Zulu UTC. And uh, there are some stations that I'm hearing with um, VK. And VK, according to my Yesu map, is out here in Australia. I'm seeing a bunch of VK2s, and I'm way the heck over here uh, in, in Arizona. And someone had put a really great comment here this morning from Australia, and I'll see if I can zoom into it. And this is a great point. And he puts all call, he's sending this message to everybody. Uh, he's kind of knocking them, which I don't, like, but he says, pity people don't realize that keeping time delta in check keeps them on frequency. One bad station with a plus or minus of uh, 2,099 millisecond delta drags others off frequency. If they don't turn off auto time drift, auto time drift is only for, oh, if they don't turn off auto time drift. Auto time drift is only for field use, not when at home connected to the internet. Uh, I agree with that and disagree with that. If you don't have your stuff connected to the internet, like I uh, will typically do for training, uh, I, I don't agree with that statement. But yeah, he, he's right that the, the you don't want to pollute the time delta for others because sometimes people will sing to you. Uh, anyways, I just wanted to send him a note and uh, given that my antenna system is not set up to go from this area of the country all the way over to Australia, did a few things. Uh, so number one, I tried going directly to him and that did not work. So this is just part of just using the tool. And uh, I put VK2 AGS is his call sign, MSG. I wanted to put a message in his call box. Great PSA, great public, public service announcement, agreed. I did not get anything back. And at this point I was running my traditional um, 30 watts of power. So on my radio here, I cranked it up to 100 watts, which I typically do not do. In fact, I'm going to back that down before um, I forget here. And we'll get it back down to the 30 watts I typically have it sitting at. And one thing you'll notice too is when I'm running 100 watts, this guy is pulling about 20 some odd amps. So my uh, power supply, pulling off the battery and all that stuff is working pretty hard. So the next thing I decided to do was just to see if you could give me a signal to noise ratio report that did not come back. So I went ahead and this does use the internet, but I have ways to do this without it. You can hover over VK2, let's see if he's still in my list, ARGS, and you'll get this overlay of who he can hear. So there's VK6 dev, VK2 XOR, and WA DND. So I tried to work through that list to see who I could potentially talk to. So I went and I believe I went to ask VK6 dev if he could hear me. Of course, didn't get a response. Um, then I hovered over a few other stations and I found W5 or Whiskey Delta 5 Echo Echo, right? Yeah, Echo Echo Delta. So I hovered over him. I know that one is a call sign in the US just by looking at it. And actually, I mean, he's going to be up here because I can hear him. So he should have a checkbox. Yeah. So I can for sure see that he can actually hear VK2 XOR. So given the fact that I can communicate with, I don't know where the fives are. Let's see. Uh, anyways, it's somewhere probably in, in this area out here. I don't know. You can do something in JSA call called a relay. And I tried to do a couple of different hops. So first I went to see if a w, or Whiskey Delta 5 Echo Echo Delta could hear me. He could, we had a good path. So then what I did is did a directed message to him. I used the little uh, greater than symbol here to hit the station I know he can hear, which is another VK2 station, another Australian station. And I know that Australian station can hit the guy I wanted to talk to. And I put this message called great PSA. And then on my waterfall, I could see him retransmit. Now, I don't know if the other station got it, but again, this is one of those very powerful tools that most people don't use. And it's one of those things that allows us to 
uh, use relays. Typically, I'm only concerned when you, with using this JS8 call application in the JS8 mode for local regional communication like here in the Southwest. But this was a rare opportunity where I wanted to try to establish the contact to someone in Australia. And my attempt was to use one station I could hear somewhere in the US and then it going to another station in Australia and then another local hop in Australia, Australia all over radio. No internet involved in this. Um, well, that's not entirely true. Uh, the herd stations that have come up, those are coming from the internet, but you can actually also request to get those over radio, which would be a lot more difficult. Anyways, guys, just wanted to share this with you if you're, our, uh, if you're into the digital modes for uh, high frequency communication and off-grid preparedness. Uh, yeah, so have a good one. Big announcement coming up uh, in the next video. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared.